Hi, this is Randy. So today is the fall equinox or autumn solstice. And I decided to come raspberry picking after work. She said the raspberries didn't do too well this year. So uh, I'm going to head over to the blackberries, which are supposed to be doing very well over on the other side of the uh, road. I thought I'd come raspberry picking because it's one of those things that I like to do. And uh, it's one of those things that I did with the narcissist and his kids. I brought them all here on a weekend every year when they uh, spent the weekends at my house. And we would all pick raspberries. Of course, it was their first experience picking berries. And I wouldn't doubt if it's their last experience either because it's not something their mother would have um, taken them to, nor their father. But they really enjoyed it and I think everybody should pick raspberries. One thing about it is you can eat them while you pick them. They're really small this year. compared to previous years. I don't know if that's because of the weather, but um, I don't think it's because I'm late because raspberry picking season is best in September. But I'm really not collecting many. My aim was to fill up several big buckets of these because what I do is I freeze them and put them in plastic bags with a little bit of water and sugar and put them in the freezer and then bring them out in the winter, have them on ice cream or just eat them plain. And uh, so I figured why stop doing things that I like to do just because I don't have anyone else to do them with. And believe it or not, the narcissist even enjoyed this. I remember one little fight. Uh, it was apparently I, you know, did something wrong to his children. Probably didn't let them take home enough raspberries. Um, you know, I probably only let them take what they picked. You know, kids aren't going to collect too much themselves. And I figured, you know, I'm going to keep what I pick. If they want to pick them and their dad wants to buy them, because you do have to pay for them at the end, depending on how many pints you pick, you fill up full of raspberries, you go and pay for them, and uh, when it came time to pay, well, that's when, you know, it doesn't always become so fun, because 
all the kids want the raspberries that they didn't pick ones that I picked that I want to save for the winter and they all, their dad wants someone else to pay for the raspberries that they did pick and it'll never be enough but somehow I managed to enjoy it and I think they did too. I know my son did. He was really excited when I told him I was cone raspberry picking. So raspberry picking reminds me of my gram grandmother because she actually had raspberry bushes in her yard. And it was exciting when I was four years old to go run out to the bush and see if I could get any raspberries off of that tree. They're real small, but they are tasty. They are tasty. Sometimes the kids would yell and scream running through these aisles because, you know, there's bees. There's a lot of bees around fields. And uh, you can hear the crickets and you can hear the bees buzzing around. But uh, I'm not one to really worry too much about bees. I have been stung at least three times and it was several stings at a time whenever I disrupted a bee so I'm gonna continue to pick over here I guess till I finish this row she was right there's more at the end of this row and then I'm going to go back and see that? I'm going to go back to the blackberries and try those. And I would just uh, recommend that anybody who wants to kind of relax, get with nature, you find yourself some berry farm and go berry picking because it's just another one of those ways to connect with nature and today is the fall solstice after all I'm eating more than I'm collecting here. They're so good. There's a bee. I'm sure this video is not very exciting to people, but I didn't want you to miss out on the beautiful berries. Take care and happy equinox.